Greek archaeologists have uncovered a mass grave in one of the largest ancient cemeteries in Athens. What's interesting is that it's filled with handcuffed skeletons. The archaeologists think they could have been supporters of an ancient Greek tyrant. It looks like a scene from a horror movie, but archaeologists believe these skeletons lying in a mass grave in an ancient Greek cemetery could be coup plotters who faced execution. The remains of at least 80 people were found in the grave at a necropolis between downtown Athens and the port of Pyrrhus this year. They are all tied at the hands with handcuffs, and most of them are very, very young and in a very good state of health when they were executed. The victims obviously faced a violent death, but the experts believe the way they have been buried show they were more than slaves or common criminals. They have been executed all in the same manner but they have been buried with respect. The cemetery dates from between the 8th and 5th century BC, and the findings are expected to shed light on an important period of Greek history. It was a period of great unrest for Athenian society, a period when nobles were battling with one another for power. One of the strongest theories to explain the deaths is that the victims were supporters of Cylon, an Olympic champion who tried to overthrow the government. Perhaps with a DNA test that we will do on these skeletons, we may confirm or disprove this hypothesis. More than 1,500 bodies lie in the entire cemetery, which the experts hope will eventually become a museum. It's a particular interest in order for us to understand their daily life, the population, the state of public health, but also their views on death. You know, a cemetery is a first and last photograph in antiquity of those people that pass from life to death. A museum could prove to be a memorial to Athenians from another era.